2019, my great grandma uh, was diagnosed with cancer. I witnessed her just be taken away from us. And with her passing away, it caused a lot of uh, family turmoil. It happened about a month before I came to Asbury my freshman year. And when I came to Asbury, you know, I was always so excited to come. But, you know, everything here dealt with religion. And at that time, the only person I could think of who to blame for my anxiety, depression, sadness was God. Uh, so I really resented him. Uh, you know, I came here to Asbury and I, the only time I would pray to him, uh, I would just say, you know, God, it would be really nice if you just didn't wake me up in the morning. The past couple of years, I haven't done anything with religion. Uh, haven't prayed. You know, when we, we pray during chapel, I just sit there uh, with my head up. I don't sing. Um, I don't really worship, do anything. My friend had told me, you need to come to Hughes because something is happening. And I didn't think much of it. You know, I just thought, oh, it's just Hughes. You know, people are probably still worshiping. It's nothing. Um, I ended up coming after, and when I opened the doors, it just felt different. I, I prayed to God. Um, I actually had a conversation with him, and I just slumped down in, in my seat, and I just felt at peace, because it felt like for the first time that God was talking to me, and I felt like I could, you know, just just relax. And it felt like God was telling me, uh, this is what you've been missing this entire time. And a couple days later, Sunday, I woke up, and, you know, revival was just on my mind. I kept wanting to go back. And um, I ended up going back that night, and I think I was there for four or five hours. And again, I just sat there, cried, worshiped, prayed, and they were asking if people wanted to share their testimonies. And I am not the biggest public speaker. Um, I hate being on camera. I hate talking in front of people. Even just if it's one person I'm talking, I, I hate doing it. And I felt like God was telling me, you know, you need to get up and, and talk. And I walked up to the front and I got on the microphone and there were probably a thousand people there. I didn't recognize anyone. I shared my testimony, you know, saying that for the longest I've resented God and, you know, wasn't a believer. And I kept thinking, all these people are going to hate me, um, you know, because they're all here for, for God. And I, I'm getting up here telling my story. But as soon as I finished, people started praying over me, hugging me, crying. I was walking down the aisle back to my seat and people were grabbing my arms. And people were telling me, you don't know how many people you've saved with that testimony. I feel so much better. I feel like I'm at peace now. Um, you know, I feel like my anxiety and depression is so much better because now I can talk to God and give it all to Him. And I realized that I'm not alone. The past three or four years, I felt like I'm alone. And, you know, I just know that he's behind me.